Welcome back everyone, I'm Craven and this is a Union Chronicles Rising and today, today we're gonna do some quests and of course we're going to the quarry to basically test out if Garou can knock out those boulders for us and if he can we can also do the same thing in the Great Forest because if you remember behind the boss there was another big boulder with a chest behind it so while we're here trying to get the saver caps for one of the people in Nunave, we might as well check if we can break the rock with Guru. And of course, while we're here, we're gonna try to see if we can get a bit of the feel of the fighting combat between two characters. Which, at this time, we put it on simple mode, but I'm pretty sure by the end of today's episode, by the start of the next, we'll definitely put that on normal once we figured out what it's actually doing. So, uh, with the signpost, let's do a fast travel to the boss. I'm also very curious to see in a combat situation. Ah, okay, so he isn't behind me anymore. He's, with the lack for a better word, in me. Okay, so I got one for him. Okay, so... Okay, so the Y is a switch and then normal X for attack. Okay, I, and I thought that if I press Y, I would go attack with Guru and X for uh, CJ. So it's actually the Y is a switch and X is the attack. All right, so good to know. Okay, let's see how well he does <laughs> against a big ass tree. Come on, hollow plant, show me what you got. Okay, so once we have a few attacks out, it can link into another. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so that's what that does. First time I got attacked by that, uh, let's say, spider webbing. And it's somewhat logical, because CJ is a lot faster and nimble than Guru is, because he's a very big... Uh, guy that can swing really hard now let's see how hard he can actually swing yep that that's pretty hard <laughs> all right let's see what's in the chest strength ring level one received nice all right and seeing as uh, if i have to choose a character to just normally walk around and fight most battles with it will probably be cj because having a more nimble character makes you more versatile. And having said that, <laughs> let's give her the first accessory. Attack power of 5%. Hell yeah. Alright, let's check out the rest. Okay, that looks like a gate that needs to be approached from the other side. And another signpost. So let's check. Can we see the map where we. That's not the map. This is the map. Okay, so we cannot see where we can find the saver camps, but I think it's pretty easy to assume that it's gonna be all the way in the beginning in the upper uh, forest area. Alright. Fishing spot. There are areas in a dungeon where fishing is possible. Fish that you catch can be used for cuisine and other items. It goes without saying. But you'll need a fishing rod for this. You do not have a fishing rod. <laughs> yeah, but that's not my mistake. <laughs> I wish I had, honestly. Alright, let's go fast travel back to the great tree. And uh, we'll be back at the fishing spot once we get a rod to test it out and see how that works. Because we're gonna do everything in this game. Alright, that's nuts. Oh, that's a little bit getting used to. Yeah, that's definitely gonna make me want uh, to use normal mode a lot more. Because it almost messed uh, me up because it was an automatic one. 
All right, so where are you, little saver caps? Ah, there it is. All right, so yeah, I wanna keep the simple mode for now, until we reach the end, but I do not like the fact that it automatically switches us and links us up, which in some situations can be really nice, but it's messing me up in my head while in combat. Because I'm not expecting the change to happen. So if I can control when it does, that would be incredibly nice. Okay, we need one more. Oh. I thought I heard something. Hmm. Must be me. Alright, let's see if we can find one more. Or else we need to re-enter the dungeon at a later time. Oh, we can get stone here as well, normal-wise. Uh, because last time we got it from be it being a quest. So, it is something we already confirmed earlier in the other episodes that once you do something for a quest, it also becomes available normally, in a normal playthrough. Alright, let's see if you can break this one too. Yes, you can. You gotta be careful with new enemies. <gasps> Ooh, new item! A crystal. I wonder what we're gonna use that for, but it wouldn't hurt to collect it now. So I'm guessing the unique skill of Guru is basically that he can uh, break the big old rocks. A power bomb level one. Is that an accessory as well? No, it is not. <laughs> so it's probably inner stove pack. Yes, it is. Uh, temporarily increases strength. Okay. Not too shabby. Right, how far are we now? 54% and we're back in that screen. Okay. Yeah, let's move. I should finish where I start before I venture any further. All right. That's another question <laughs> already answered. Because I was wondering that. That could we already complete the entire dungeon if we were able to remove those roadblocks? And apparently not. So I'm sure we're going to need a quest to propel us further into this. Or we need to finish what we started first. Okay, so that's too hard for him. Okay, good to know. All right, we have one more screen left to go. And then we have walked everything that we know of. And hopefully we can find that uh, one last cap that we are missing. There they are, beautiful. So I'm gathering that saver cap will be a new standard item in this area as well. All right, nice, more gargle wings, okay. So once we reach the other side, we're definitely going to go back to the village to complete our quest. Oh, should I forget that? Yeah, and all these extra resources we're picking up, we might not have a quest for it now, but I'm pretty sure later on we'll be able to use it 
to our own advantage. Yeah, the amount of damage here we get against us it's so low, I'm not even paying attention anymore. I'm just swinging away, grabbing everything. <gasps> Our back is full. No, time to uh, get out of here. Alright, so that does uh, reaffirm what I already asked in another episode. We need a way to increase our pack. Even if we need to grind a lot for it. I'm more than willing to because 50 it goes uh, full a lot especially if I use uh, luck as a status increase right another giant branch some herbs of course a wild bird egg as well nice all right time to get back into town the mushrooms you asked for well look at this this should be enough to last uh, us the trip to next town over should it come to that I better start sun drying these uh, little fellas to preserve them <laughs> wait 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 you said there would be a stamp oh I did didn't I well here you are thank you very much All right. any other quest available for us Nothing here. Don't see any exclamation marks at this time. Doesn't say anything. Because we have seen that people with quests don't always appear on the map. But for now, I want to go to the query and see if we can go further in. Now that we have uh, Guru with us. And we know we can, because we have tested it out. You again? The road is still blocked, you know. It won't be for long. Guru here is gonna clear it for us. Well, that would uh, get us out of a bind for sure. You have an explorer license, Guru? Here. Oh, that'll do. I'll just open her up. So, did you have to go uh, around getting stamps too then? Do I look like some kind of stamp collector? You wanna have bricks for brains to waste time on that? <laughs> I see. You see what? You, you don't know? <laughs> I don't think I'm the one with the brick for brains. You forked out a hundred thousand bakwa for it, didn't you? As if. I've got this magic pouch, uh, don't I? Magic? Oh, so that's how you could uh, hide that massive sword in there. Where'd you get something like that? Huh. This old thing? I got it from some old blue furball. Not important. Oh, is that a reference to uh, the blue furballs? Uh, that you fight in Suikoden, or Suikoden, depending on how you uh, pronounce it. Ah, pretty handy for carrying gear around, especially if you're camping. Oh, I've never heard of anything like this before. Still got a lot to learn about the world, I suppose. Okay, let's get a move on, yeah? Alright, then what do you have to say to us? Damn those monsters, shooting rocks at me. If only he had a sword big enough to send them right back. Ah, a hint on what we can do with uh, Guru now. Ah, strike first, win first. Magical QT missile. I have a feeling that wasn't meant for us. <laughs> what the? Who's there? <laughs> it's card captor Sakura. <laughs> oh, stay back, scoundrels. You've come face to face with New Neve's very own guardian peacekeeper. Guided by the rune holy light, it is I, Malor, ardent defender of love and justice. <laughs> Malor, a magical girl who's been waiting patiently for a turn to make it big. As it turns out, magical girls are highly sought after as adventure partners. Is she gonna be your next partner? 
Hmm? Uh, you go around defending love and justice by blowing holes in walls, do ya? Walls? What are you... Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> As he runs before she has to take some responsibility for it. Well, what just happened? Ah, uh, beats me. Last thing I need is another brat to babysit. What was that? Oh, nothing. Nothing at all. Oi, you two alright? What happened? What was that noise? Oh, this girl just appeared out of thin air and fired some sort of magic at us. We dodged it, but it hit a wall. She what? Oh crap. There's a hole in the bulwark. We have to close it up uh, or monsters will reach the town. Oh, what a pain. Anything we can do to help? Hey, if you're feeling generous, keep me out of it. Well, we have to see to it that fiends don't make it to the townsfolk. Sorry to ask, but would you mind fetching the material we need to fix this? I think we could fill it up if we had some stone. As a matter of fact, I just collected some. <laughs> Alright, I'll have a look around. Ah, some scavenger you are. Do you forget why we're here? What about that humongous lens, huh? You happy enough to just let uh, some other jelly legged Joey get their hands on it first? No, but what about Priya and Yum Yum and all the other town folk? I can't just let the fiends run loose, can we? Ah, uh, fine. We'll take a brief detour. It's gonna be very brief, because we have to resource. You're not carrying any resources now. True. But I have it in my storehouse. <laughs> We're back. <laughs> Think this is everything you asked for. You're a lifesaver. Here, have a stamp. Did you really do all that work just for a few stamps? And what if she did? Good way to protect the town and see to it a guard gets their dinner. You've heard about the sorrow, I'm sure? If something like that were to happen again, our job's gonna be the first one on the chopping block. Sorrow? Well, what's that? Y y you don't know? A rune golem laid waste to the town, as the stories go. Well, before his mercs uh, got here, mind. A rune golem? You mean those things that protect the room barrows? You've seen one yourself? Oh, never. I just heard about them from my folks, though. Apparently, a bunch of town folks volunteered for an expedition down the barrows a long time ago. They got attacked down there. Some of them managed to escape and rustle up a search party, but they went back in, though. No one else had survived. The mayor let the whole thing herself, himself, so this day he's the only body un unaccounted for. Mayor? So, the current acting mayor is... Isha? Well, she's his daughter, and <laughs> lost her father to this barrow she did. She's only young, but already you can tell she's what, uh, what, the bulwark was all her idea. Her yes, few people wanted to go back in to find her dad, but she wouldn't have it. Prioritize the good of the town over her own family. That's one way of looking at it. Could be she's just cold-hearted. I don't think so. I think she is calculated, because when people do their best to get into the barrows, they get stronger, they get better at it, and there may be a higher chance to get some evidence about what happened to her father, get that last body that's unaccounted for. Or maybe I'm just reading into it too much. Hmm, I'm sure it wasn't a choice she made lightly, mate. Yeah, forget I said that. All right, clear off. I'm gonna shut the quarry for now. What? Why? Gotta seal this up, don't we? And you can come back tomorrow. Uh, I'm starting to think I'll never get into this place. Uh, so this is it for today, huh? First thing tomorrow morning, be ready. I'll meet you at yours. Stamp received. Guru, wait. What do you mean by be ready? 
I know I look small, but me and these holster axes have come a long way. We're always ready. Uh, you really are a baby, aren't you? Even if you are toilet trained a year and a half. <laughs> the smithy can make your weapons and armor stronger, yeah? Can I assume you know at least that much? But strength ain't everything, mate. A weapon shop and an armor shop would have upgraded will make it easier to move about. With upgrades like that, you can fight better, explore further, all sorts. How much better? How much further? Better you see it for yourself, mate. Oh, I don't see any stores like that back in town, though. Not yet, no. But I heard plenty of folk have been down around Outlander Lane looking to set up shop. Ah, I mean, if it's already as good as you say it is. Come on, let's uh, see who we can find. <laughs> and of course, what we need to do to help them on their feet. And let's see, how many stands do we have right now? I think it's 10, right? And they did say if we went to Hogan with 10, we might be able to get something really nice. Yeah, so let's go over to Outlander Lane. Because if uh, someone wants to set up shop here, this is the prime location to find them, right? <laughs> there he is. Shall we talk to them? Yeah, we might as well. Ah, you there, adventurer. Are your weapons giving you any trouble? Well, I've got a name, you know, CJ. As for weapons, I wouldn't be opposed to an upgrade if someone was kind enough to offer. Haha, <laughs> that's what I like to hear. Just as I suspected, this town is in dire need of a weapon shop. I am Bertrand, knight of great renown with the keenest eye for weaponry in the land. Perhaps you've heard tales of my bravery when I'm in service of the Margrave. Countless warriors fell before my might. One such encounter with the general of a great nation was particularly unforgettable. Our swords clashed endlessly, but soon his blade shattered into shards. Only a swordsman with a keen eye for weaponry could have... Bertrand, was it? Listen, I'm kind of in a hurry, so if there's something I can help you with... <coughs> yeah, yes, of course, of course, excuse me. I'm looking for an acting mayor. I need permission from her to establish my shop, after all. Do you have any idea where I might find her? Oh, that's odd. Isha is usually pretty easy to spot. I'll track her down for you. That shouldn't be too hard, because if she isn't in the plaza, she might be at home. And we know where that is, so... Shouldn't be too hard. Now, Hogan, where are you? I thought Hogan was somewhere around the lane as well. Hmm. Oh well. Uh, seeing as... We're gonna no need to go to the quarry tomorrow. I'm not gonna go to the inn to sleep with, uh, well, not sleep, but take a bath for the luck increase. We're gonna do that tomorrow. All right. I haven't missed him, right? Could it be a tavern? No. No new recipes? Cause like I said, I do wanna unlock every single one of them. We just have to find the resource to do so. A little looks here around. Nothing new here? Well, we keep on checking every single time. So, what we've learned is if you are a mayor, you should have the biggest house in the entire district. And there is only one house big enough that I feel would be from uh, Isha. And there it is. Uh, Isha and Sanvi. Isha? <gasps> oh, <laughs> it's just you. CJ, uh, do you need anything? Uh, not me. There's a guy who looked uh, was looking to open a weapon shop. He needs to run it by you first, apparently. Uh, I had a feeling it was him. Okay, understood. Please tell him I'll meet him soon. I have actually already spoken with him. Or rather, he spoke at me. I lost half of my afternoon waiting for him to get to the point. 
I heard he would return today to discuss opening a weapon shop, so I decided to keep myself... Let's just say busy elsewhere. <laughs> you really have to lighten up, Isha. Yeah, as an acting mayor, he needs something of you. It would be really easy to just cut him off and say, Can you please get to the point? And it doesn't have to even be rude. Alright, let's report back to Bertrand. Yeah, I have a feeling that uh, Hogan, he will have to have his own shop at some point as well. And that's the reason we can't find him right now. Because he doesn't have that yet. Oh well, I can wait. <laughs> I found Isha and I let her know you were waiting to see her. Ah, you have my thanks. To think I could be aided so valiantly by such a young lady. Have I told you how, when I was young, I was rescued by an elvish maiden of rare beauty? Okay, I've got lots to do, so if you don't mind stamping this card for me, I'll be on my way. Oh yes, <clears throat> yes, yes, of course, of course. Here you are. Yeah, CJ can handle that quite nicely, doesn't she? <laughs> oh, I love that animation. Very simple, but effective. Weapon shop is preparing to open. 500 bakwa. The weapon shop. Operate your weapons by making them more lightweight and easier to use. Unlocking new attacks in the process. Shopkeeper, Bertrand. Mm -hmm, let's check it out. Alright, so... Is that what it needs to upgrade them to level 2? Or are they now level 2? Oh, I think money is gonna be a problem. <laughs> at some point. Uh, so... Let's level each one of them up one time for now. Okay. Not available. So, okay, so we probably need to upgrade the weapon shop for that. Good. <laughs> Limit my upgrades. <laughs> wow, you weren't kidding. I feel like I could do magic tricks with these things now. So, what's uh, next then? Armor, right? So basically, we need this. Okay, so let's find somebody who wants to open up a shop and let's do that. <laughs> Very easy way to uh, make things work. <laughs> wow, that's much better. Easier on my wrist too. I should give them a good name. Oh, we can change the name? This is a big responsibility. Weapon words. Okay, so we cannot actually type it in ourselves. Alright, so what kind of name do you want to give it? Hmm. No, this, this has to be a sword <laughs> for Guru at some point. Climbing? Hmm, there's lots of... <laughs> the ultimate! <laughs> yeah, that's definitely gonna be it at some point as well. Oh, so many words. How do we pick? So, what kind of... Uh, for your people watching out there, what kind of name would you give your weapon? I don't know if at some point we can change it, but for now... Uh, I'm just gonna go with the first thing that came up uh, in my mind. And that is... Let's go with climbing? Because <laughs> void space and... <laughs> climbing the X. <laughs> no, let's uh, do that. Well, it, it is an X. No, it's too simplistic, isn't it? Mm. 
Yeah, let's just call it the Great Axe. <laughs> it's definitely not that, but I'm very curious to see if we can. Use his name? Yeah, why not? <laughs> now, that's what I call a Raveling Tanuki. Feels only right to give it a good name. Oh, come on. I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it at the Raveling Tanuki. It's too much responsibility. I do wonder that every time we upgrade the weapon, can we change the name or can we always change it whenever we want? I'm gonna leave it at this for now. Yes. Uh, charged attacks. Holding the attack button will allow you to charge your power and unleash a charged attack. While powerful, you will be vulnerable to attack while charging. Use with caution. Okay, job swap character, unique skill. Alright, good to know. Okay, so right now we've opened up uh, the quarry. We've given them the resource to repair the gate so tomorrow we can go in there. We have uh, now have a weapon shop and we upgrade the weapons to the first level with both our characters, which is great. And now the only thing we need is an armor shop. I think we'll try that. Let's see what she, she wants. Hey, you! You're CJ the scavenger kid, aren't you? Um, yeah, that's me. I'm Frida, hoping to be the owner and operator of this town's official armor shop. Little Isha was kind enough to let me have this place, but, uh, well, you tell me. Kind of a fixer-upper, wouldn't you say? Frida, a, li a lively, likable, high-spirited armor drawn to Nunave for its potential as a vibrant new town. Luckily, the adventurers were in need of an armor when she arrived. Little Isha? Well, yeah. Looks like a lot of work, alright. Right, so I've been thinking about a big color change. Problem is, I'm not sure where to get my hands on paint. Yellows, pinks, you know, bright and cheerful colors. Couldn't get them in the city, though. I thought about searching the great forest, but there's no place for a lady like me. Paint in the Great Forest? I don't know about that, but I'm happy to go take a look for you. Well, rumor has it, there might be some what mysterious stash somewhere under in the caves. Under the caves? Hmm, probably on the other side of that giant rock, maybe? It probably is. Alright, so find paint in the Great Forest. Isn't it a bit too literal? Cause paint can be made from flowers, right? And other things with colorful aspects to it are actually going to f go down there to find a canister of paint i'm very curious right now <laughs> to what it's gonna be so i'm sorry to say but we're gonna do that next time so now we know what to do so we can prepare for it so next episode we're gonna go back to the great forest back down the caves that we opened up last time and see if we can find anything that resembles paint that she can use for her store and it might even be at that location where we got stopped in the cave as well so that's one of the first places we're gonna look next time until then i wish you a great night morning day wherever you are and if you're still here don't forget to hit that like button subscribe and i definitely hope to see you next time bye bye